Okay, people, basically this is what's wrong. It's basically Fuka Fudge has really messed up the world. It's still leaking. And here you go. 204,000 nano seasons. Okay. That's how damn flipping high it is. Okay, you see how over here they don't really tell you how high it is? Yeah, I mean, they're playing around with the map. They don't want to. They have fun recording there, Vino. Anyway, here we go. I just showed you that one. Okay, that's that high. 204,000 nanoseers, okay? Brant is not shy about showing how fucked up they are. How screwed up it is, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse the French, but at times like this, it's time to actually express the real truth. And there you go. Okay, and then we have, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but those are the city's names. Okay, that's how much, that's how much mess it is. Okay. And when you look at the color code, they start to hide stuff, which is wrong because as you can see the color code over here, that color, even if it's this, is supposed to be within this range, okay? And no matter what way you look at it, any of these readings are high, anywhere, okay? Now, let me go ahead and show you what's going on in America. Number one, you can't even find the query, and you won't be able to get it to come up. You'll end up getting this here acting like this, spinning and spinning and spinning. Or like that, or like this, or like that. And also I got, you can get a reading like this, and then I'm going to take you to the actual factual. EPA is actually being a little bit smart. They're legally making sure that they've done what they're supposed to do. And then we'll click through the pages, and here you go. And they explain to you about all the beta particles. This is what's basically dangerous, this causes cancer, okay? Beta is counts per minute radiation. Uh, they even go in here in iodine-131, strontium-90, they'll tell you everything. But it makes it, it's just long and dragged out and makes people think, well, this must be safe, you know? They're actually showing you how dangerous all this stuff is, okay? I would not suggest contacting any of these agencies here that they've say to contact, because basically they're going to make probably, I don't know, who knows? Remember in World War II they locked up the Japanese? Because they're probably going to be a problem? Well, any U.S. citizen that's going to pay attention and talk too much about how the radiation is so damn bad? Yeah. So now we can go in and basically we'll take a look at, uh, actually, uh, I'm pretty sure that I've seen this guy and basically talked to him. He's a pretty smart guy, basically. And, uh, or talk to some counterparts. So anyway, they know what's going on. The radiation's high. And then they're basically going on and showing you what is going on with the, uh, the maps. They're not, they're not, some aren't showing, and some do show, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is you can go ahead and watch that video, and basically he just does a little bit of music, and but he's actually showing the truth what's going on. Now, this is what's going on is the truth. In the sublime, these people here are letting you know about the radiation. In the sublime, at this here message here, okay, that is where you want to go because basically they're telling you actually, what you have to realize is they're letting you know how high it is because as you read here, and you don't have to, they're not going to explain to you that these, see, eventually exceeding 100 CPM, okay? And they spike in it like 3,000 and so forth. This is all true. I'm gonna go through this data real slow. This is all actual factual. But when they say that their stuff is falsing, Geiger counters never false. They were designed not to false, okay? They're always gonna read proper. They're not gonna go out of 
And if they were, you send it back to the factory, and they'll, and then most of these guys, if they were to send their equipment in, they'd go, there's nothing wrong with it, they're reading just fine. This stuff is actually happening. We have radiation problems, ladies and gentlemen, okay? These guys are trying to make it all the most clean that you can get. Basically, you just take it, but they, they know how to empty their box out, you see? They're doing it right. Now, the reason that you can't go through the uh, actual radiation on the radnet is because the radiation is that flipping bad. And they are legally taking care of the government here by showing you this is what's wrong, beta particles will kill you, they will cause you cancer, okay? So legally, they're covering the United States. Our lawyers are doing a good job for the United States. We're telling the public straight out with this page that then, now, will they let you know about uh, how to read it? No, you won't, because I'll back through the pages here, and you'll see that you cannot go to the RAD method. Use the query tool, okay? And I'll even open this up in another window, like this, which I've already done, as you can see here. And basically, it'll be the same address that you'll see right there. And you won't be able to get a reading. You can't go to the, you will not find it. And it's not overwhelmed. And if it is inundated, then it's basically the factual factual that we already know because we already know that this shit is bleeding from overseas. It's getting in our jet stream. And I can go back to the data. Because these are not taken care of. Okay? And we got 31, I think, reactors in this country that are messed up. We've got problems. Three Mile Island got shut down. You don't want an, uh, you never want a nuclear facility shut down at all because they usually cannot contain the steam, the nuclear bomb, the blast. Okay? So all this stuff is true and radiation is bad. And basically, you just need to go get yourself an old Geiger counter because an old Geiger counter was made to detect radiation. And if you got background radiation, that's bad because that means the radiation is building up in the background. Okay? You're always supposed to minus the background out to get a fresh reading. That's a fresh reading. But when your background keeps building up and building up and building up, you got radiation. Okay? Now, these are all actual detections of massive radiation. Uh, I mean, Let's put it this way, strike massive, it's below massive, but the actual factual is these are very high CPM rates, okay? Very cancerous, okay? And this stuff's out there. Okay, so anyhow, these do not false, none of this equipment falses, okay? All, all all radiation equipment is made not to false okay it's not gonna false this is all actual factual let me see if i can go ahead and give you some readings on some radiation Okay, folks, you basically have to blow the page up 400% to be able to read the colors that are in the graph, okay? Basically, they are disclosing what it is. Now, what you do is you read between this moi here, and it's nice to know that I can get my pointer to do that. It's because I'm getting mirrored again. And here we go with showing you the actual factual of what you're getting for radiation. I'll take you through how to show you how to find it, okay? Now, what you do is you look for this color here, okay? And basically that, and basically I'll just zoom this back to, and you can see how hard they make it to be able to tell what, what is what. And they don't tell you what is beta. And basically I've showed you that what they've done to make themselves legally not liable for basically not lying to you, okay, about what's going on. But basically your beta 
is right here in these mauve colors, okay? The high and low all day long as the graph ticks off. These are your spiking and these are your lows, okay? This is as low as you get on CPMs per minute, counts per minute. Now, quickly what we do is, um, now there's no apologies because basically I'm just looking around what I was wanting to look at, okay? So you can see the range there for Denver, Colorado. Basically the low is around here and the high is here spiking, okay? Otherwise, and then basically, I've already proven back, proved before that they took the volume off, and now they won't even let you go to, as you can see, they're still spinning up here, okay? You're not going to be able to get to what you need to find, okay? So I go back here to this. We will go ahead and go like this and hit back on what a page that I can show you that you can pick your graph for your city, okay? And here it is. You go to this address right here, okay? And I will cut and paste and put that on the deal, okay? Forget about here messing around trying to get here or trying to open up this or anything like that, okay? It's all smoke and mirrors. And now they also basically just flash it. Now, not that site there, actually the wrong address. So I'll give you the right address. And this is what you go to here because this is gonna be your address that you want, this one here. And this is the one I'll cut and paste and give to you, okay? And what it does is you go down here, this isn't going to work, okay? Normally you were supposed to be able to click on here and you can't get anything to come up on any of these anymore, okay? You should normally be able to click on these and it'll give you a reading. The best way to do it is just to go down and pick out a city and basically I'll just go down to uh, saving video time. I'm just going to go to, I wanted to go ahead and go to Missouri. So, oh, this is close enough. We'll just go ahead and go to Wichita, Kansas. Okay? And then it'll give it just like when we were in Denver. And there's where you can see this is where your CPM is at. Okay? Now, 130 is bad. Okay? And this is a good 115 or so. Okay? And yes, these are spikes. They're like 130, 145. And yes, there's some cities where I was seeing uh, last week. That's why they pulled this crap is because they watch people that are looking at what's going on on the radiation, and they figure out like, well, we have to block from being able to do this. So they got their legal disclaimer showing you the beta gross, which is bad for your radiation. Okay, here we go to Springfield. Then we go down. And you look at your growth, and you can see how bad it's spiking at certain times. And then it is de somewhat decent. I mean, this is at least livable with over long periods of time down here. Okay? Down into probably 30s, 40s, 50s, and stuff like that. But it is spiking, getting up into the hundreds. 110, 120, 135. Actually, even there's some 185 spikes, okay? So that's pretty much how you read it. You just got to read it and see, see this, how this graph is so hard to read. You can pretty much bet that that's your beta gamma right there, okay? Your lows and your highs are those two pinkish mauve colors, okay? So there's high radiation everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. So basically, no matter what, this is sublime. These are actually real readings, okay? This information is actually real, okay? This stuff is actually happening. And it's all because of Fuka Fudge Up. Okay? You can slow down or freeze all that. Went through it a couple times on that. And also, basically, this is no lie. It's off the charts over there. And there's a lot of problems with working. It's out of control, and they're not going to stop it. They're not putting any concrete on it, and it's leading into the ocean. It's real bad. It's pretty, getting pretty bad when... There you go. That's terrible. Because this is actual factual truth. Thanks to Climate Bureau, he basically, I could find this map faster. And basically, this is the radioactivity that's in the ocean from Fukufaja. And this was ended in March. This is March of this year. So this stuff is farther this way, and this is the big... So the cesium in 
radiation that you're still oozing from Fukushima's fudge up. Terrible. <laughs>